How are you doing, Buzz? Have you got a new van to play in? Have you got a new van to play in? Hi guys, welcome back to Bella's Big Adventures. As you can see, we are not in our Heimer today. We have hired Dolly, fabulous little camper van, and today it looks with me and we're gonna go have a look around. We're gonna go to the pub tonight, just down the road. We're in the Brecon Beacons. And yeah, and then tomorrow Doug's heading on home because he has to work during the week. And Bella and I, what do you say, Bells? We're going to have a little girls' week on <laughs> a little holiday. <laughs> Apparently the Three Horseshoes pub just down the road is very popular and very good food. And they take dogs if you let them know that you're bringing them. So I haven't been to Brecon before, so I will show you around the campsite as usual. I wanted something that I could drive. Uh, and it was fairly easy once I got the hang of it. I stalled a couple of times. Right, time for a little tour of the site. Service points and rubbish collection, toilet blocks. And here we've got the washing up area. Lots of lovely clean sinks. Disabled toilets, male and female toilets. Two washers, two dryers and some sinks. And the shower blocks are quite big and spacious to be fair. They were spotlessly clean. Look a bit dated, but they are spotlessly clean, lots of hot water. There's two dog walks, one that runs down between the caravans and another opposite, which if you ca carry on through, takes you to the pub. Right guys, well, it's the next morning and Doug is just leaving me. Say bye. Bye. So it's going to be solo female van life, just me and Belly now. She's clipped into the front seat because the back's a bit rattly. And yeah, we're going to head across the Brecon Beacons. Well, I'm on the Brecon Beacons, it's pouring with rain. What else do you need to know? <laughs> Well, I went into the shop uh, and a very, very lovely Welsh lady uh, told me all about whiskies and advised on what I should get. So I've actually ended up with two. I didn't mean to buy two, but they're two from the Icon range. So hopefully Doug will love them. Well, I am just passing through Swansea. I can't believe how much traffic there is for a Sunday on such an appalling weather day as well. Today is the 1st of October and it's the first day that the dogs are actually allowed on the beach. So there's quite a few people here even though it's pilling it down with rain. And obviously the waves have been crashing up onto here, look all the debris on the top. These rocks are strange, they look like they've been made out of Play-Doh. Isn't that pretty? Little blue edge to the stone. Let's see if there's anything in there. A sea foam in there. There's a lovely colour to those rocks. Isn't that fabulous? Tiny little rock pools, this thing is swimming about in it. Yeah, that might have been the stupidest plan I've ever had. But <laughs> I did wash my hair this morning, absolutely drenched. But Bella had a nice time. She's covered in sand. The van, therefore, is going to be covered in sand. Yeah, I didn't really think that one through, did I? But hey, she had a lovely time. And that's the main thing. Nothing quite like a steaming hot bowl of soup when you've been absolutely drenched. <laughs> Walked into the farm shop with mascara all over my face. I looked like I'd been crying my eyes out or something. I think she knew it was the weather though because it's dreadful here too. We are at a, a farm called Nicolaston Farm Camping and Caravanning site I think and it's just above Three Cliffs Bay and there are walks here down to the beach so if the weather ever improves I will take Bella down there possibly in the morning because it looks like the weather forecast is going to get better as the day progresses but for now we've steamed up the van with wet dog, wet clothes, wet coats. But in the meantime, I'm gonna eat my delicious soup because I love this. It's Cullen Skink. 
These are the very lovely showers at the Nicolaston Farm Caravan and Camping site. Look at these. Look how much space there is in there. Huge bench. Huge walk-in shower. Absolutely massive. Yeah, that's super impressive. And it's really impressive. And actually the toilet blocks, the toilet cubicles, have actually got sinks in them and mirrors. That's not what I was expecting on a farm, but there you go. There's also a drinking water tap there and a dishwashing area. Dishwashing area with more toilets in it. So that's the dishwashing. And the laundry is in here. Oh, there's drying cabinets. Oh, that's brilliant. So we've got two big washers, two big dryers, and some drying cabinets. One pound for 30 minutes. Oh, that would be brilliant. I could put all my very wet towels in there. This is the entrance. Reception on the right there. Some more toilets down there as well. And disabled and there's a shop in here so I'm gonna have a look at that now see what's in there so here we are on the campsite as you can see there's loads of spaces and this is just the caravan pictures as they call them so it's a big big site I've got power not that I'm using it I don't know if you can see over there there's the bay down below and it is just clear the shop is quite useful. It's got all sorts of things for the beach and things like that, but it also has a little takeaway area. We've got some bacon, some Welsh milk, and a bit of brown sauce, and I've ordered a rustic white loaf, crusty loaf. Right, well, Bella and I had a little rest after our lunch, but in lieu of something else to do, because the mist has just come back in even thicker than it was before, I'm actually gonna make dinner. Um, I would normally just have a snack if I was by myself, but I thought I'll make a big bowl of chili and uh, yeah, it'll do me tomorrow as well then. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is brown off some mint. And just brown that off and I'll crush some garlic. Mm, chop this up while I'm waiting for the mince to brown. Your homegrown patio peppers that I grew in a greenhouse, a couple of field mushrooms and a bit of chorizo. Right, I've chopped all that. I'm gonna put some chorizo in first. Nice, add some nice little bit of extra spice without being too hot. Nice and chunky again, keep everything simple. I am gonna add a few chili flakes because I haven't got any fresh chilies. I'm also going to add a vegetable stock pot. I'll just put that in when I'm adding some wet stuff. So I'm just gonna add some tinged chopped tomatoes. Probably not going to need this whole tin, but it was the smallest one I had. Right, well that's been stewing for about half an hour I would say. So I'll have a little bit of it now with some rice, which I've done already because I had to make some for Bella's poorly to me. That was delicious. Yeah, so... Although I've done next to nothing today, apart from go for a walk and do a bit of driving, I am absolutely shattered. We didn't get much sleep last night, but I think I'm basically going to clean up the kitchen. You do have to be a little bit more organised in a camper van. Clean up the kitchen, get my PJs on, watch a bit of YouTube or something, and then have an early night. So I'll see you tomorrow. Morning, guys. Um, well, I had quite an eventful night last night. As I told you already, Bella's been a bit off. She got me up at three o'clock this morning and started throwing up and is pooping blood. So I have made an appointment at a local vet. So I'm going to have to head back in the direction I've just come to get an appointment. Um, I've got about half an hour and then I've got to go. Um, so I'm not going to get to explore this area, I don't think, unless it's something that they can deal with quickly. Um, keeping my fingers crossed. <sighs> you have to be joking. Big, enormous trips dropping now. As soon as we get close to the beach, it starts to rain. Come on, be nicer. Bella and I have had a rough couple of days. We need a nice day. That's just depressing. It's going to rain. There's going to be a gallery here. I might have a look in there in a bit. I can get to it. I don't know where the car
our pockets. This is broccoli. Okay, sit down, we're nearly there. We're going into this big car park here. It's a nose through the road anyway, so. Right, we have arrived at Rossilly Car Park. It's National Trust, as I say, and it, I've booked in as a motorhome because it says minibus slash motorhome and there are two options to pay there's four pounds which is for two hours or up to two hours or there's eight pounds which takes me up till midnight you can't overnight here um so i've paid the eight pounds uh because i'm i want to have some lunch and i want to go for a walk on the beach and chill out a little bit obviously we're going to a campsite this afternoon which i have to drive to later i think it's freshwater east caravan and motor home club site so we will do that i need bella just to rest a little bit as well um she's been given some things from the vet so we've got some procoline which i had at home funnily enough and we've got some sort of antacid things to try and stop her from um being sick or to protect her tummy at least uh, she hasn't been sick today actually, uh, she hasn't had an awful lot of food either so I do need to cook some more rice and things like that but I will do that later, I've got enough for now. You okay? She's a bit stressed with the driving which won't help the tummy situation. But anyway, yes, I did get a fabulous loaf of bread um, from the campsite this morning. You can go in the day before and order what you want and when I picked it up it was still warm. So I've got a lovely crusty cob. I did also buy some bacon from them. So I'm going to make myself a lovely bacon sandwich. Let Bella chill out, give her some more rice and chicken. And yeah, I also went to a little shop called the Shepherd's Inn or Shepherd's Shop or something. Um, quite close to the campsite. And then got some Rossilli coffee, as you do. I think bacon sandwich and a cup of tea first. And it is raining quite hard now, so... When it stops, we will head on out over there. Well, as I say, I've got some Rossilli Bay coffee. Get this water heated up a bit more. So I'm going to make a couple of crusty sanders. Nice thick door stops, I think. So I'm going to have four. There are only small. <laughs> And I didn't have any breakfast worrying about Bella, so I've got some lovely thick cut bacon. We're on a bit of a lean here in the car park, so the crop is ready for plunging, I think. It's probably way too strong, but never mind. <laughs> Gosh, that is very black. <laughs> Put quite a lot of milk in there and it's still jet black. It'll be fine. Keep me awake. Well, I have my coffee in a quirky campus mug which is incidentally where I hired the van from and I've got some lovely thick cooked bacon ready to make a sandwich but of course you can't have a bacon sandwich without some brown sauce it's got to be done despite it being slightly breezy, completely overcast, it is still absolutely stunning. It is quite a climb from the top when you look how steep the sides are. Steps down by that new white house over there. But to get down on there is quite a trek down. You can just walk horizontally past the white house over there, the famous one. Sound of the sea. 
we've made it back to the van. Now I just need to drive. A bit pooped out, to be honest. I think I could do with sleep more than anything. Hey. It's very peaceful here, though. Shame you can't stay overnight. You can pay up till midnight, but they don't like you to park here because it's National Trust and all that kind of thing. And it's protected wildlife haven as well, I suppose. Anyway, very peaceful, well worth a little visit. Morning, guys. Well, as you can probably see, <laughs> there's a big glow ball in the sky. It did rain during the night, it was quite loud. We woke us up about three o'clock in the morning. It was quite chilly as well, so I put the diesel heater on, which is, seems quite loud when you're in the van. I'm sure nobody can hear it outside, but yeah, so this morning, we've been for a little stroll. Just settle in there. She's had her brekkie, haven't you, Bells? Had your brekkie? I'm going to go and go do the dishes in the actual facilities because there's no hot water in here. You've got to boil a kettle all the time. Um, the sink's quite deep. <laughs> it takes quite a lot of water. And the waste goes straight through, so you've got to catch it in the washing up bowl. So I've been spoiled in my home, obviously, with uh, the heating coming on and off when you need it. I did flick it on for about three o'clock this morning. And then again when we got up just for about 10 minutes to be fair, just to take the edge off. But the problem with that is that fe things feel damp and if you get wet like we have for the last few days, nothing really dries. So I am going to, when the reception opens at 9, I am going to go and get tokens and wash all the blankets and towels um, and get them dry properly in the tumble dryer. First things first. Dishes. There's lots of hot water here, so I can rinse things. The drying mat's not going to be soaking wet all the time. Mine's Bella sitting outside the van with her Bella's Big Adventures bandana on. I am just emptying it out. And then I'm going to make a cup of tea and sit in the sun. Like that, is it some baby mother? I think it is. I brought my EcoFlow along. So it's down to 46%, but I haven't used any power in the van. It's still on 13.5 volts. Uh, that's because we're getting some solar. And in fairness, I haven't used any plugins, even though I booked them just in case. Right, I've just got to tidy this van up. It's a bit of a tip. My washing up's done. My bedding is airing in the sunshine. I am going to sweep the floor. Right, I finally got around to drying my hair. Um, <laughs> it's all kicked off. Although it's really sunny, um, it's quite windy. We are by the sea after all. And people across the way there in their swift Bessicar motorhome have gone out for the day and left their awning out. And it didn't have storm straps, it had some rudimentary tie downs but um, unfortunately by the time I got to it which is literally just across the way the wind had smacked it against the side of the van twice. It is now on the roof. I did try putting a chair on it and I found a box to attached to the strap but by the time I got to reception and back it had blown right over the top of the van so never leave your awning out even if it's gone when you leave. I just come back. I explained that I tried to catch it and pin it down with a rock and all those kinds of things, but that didn't help. Anyway, they're going to get them a ladder to try and get it back down off the top. Apparently they left the garage open, but I didn't know that, did I? And I wasn't going to start rummaging in their cupboards. So. Right, we are just leaving uh, Freshwater East. I'm going to knock it out of gear. And um, I think we're going to head to Barra Fundal Bay. Unfortunately, I've got no sat nav, no Wi-Fi. Um, so I can't actually plan the route yet. Mm. Right, off we go. It's the first proper sunny day and it's really good to have dry clothes. I've managed to do the washing and dry it. And the towels are all lovely and dry. The coats are dry. The bedding's not damp. Everything was getting a little bit damp and bleh. So I've got all the sand out of the van, so I've got a lovely clean van, no idea which way I'm supposed to go from here. I'm 
gonna guess right, but I've no idea. Oh, there's a cafe. It's good. You can get a cup of tea or something on the way back. And there's some toilets. The tiny harbour, one of the smallest in Pembrokeshire, is here because of the limestone that makes up the cliffs. It was built in the 1700s to ship stone from nearby quarry. It's also used to bring in coal and other goods for Stackpole Court. Okay, let's go and have a look. Rocky, eh? That's a lot, a lot of steps. Let's hope the view's worth it. it down. It's a beautiful sandy beach. Come on Belle, let's go and see the sea. Oh, <laughs> I didn't put my wellies on. Now all we've got to do is get back up the slope. Up there. Walk back along the headland which is very windy. Yeah, so I think I might leave you there and in the next video as I say we might be going to Pembroke Castle on the way to a campsite near St David's where we'll be staying for two nights driving up the coast Pembrokeshire coast before heading over to Hay on Wye and then dropping the van back this week's flying by now but the weather's improved so it's lovely so if you haven't subscribed please do think about it it does help and if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and all that's left to say is from Bella and I. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.